Hi everybody, it's Gail the Happy Stamper. Okay, I could not wait to get into my box of Stampin' Up! goodies and play with this awesome circle thinlet that you can make these adorable cards with. I hope all the bling is showing up. It's so cute, you guys. I just love it. And I uh, punched, not punched, also cut out. Yay! Because who doesn't love halloween -y? So this is super fun. So let me show you how we're going to make this. It's super easy, too. All right, let's set this card aside for a moment. And we are using... I literally just got this box in. This is the Thinlet Circle Card, and it's number 13340480. And I am using, this is, it comes with a bunch of cute little sayings and all sorts of little different uh, shapes and chevrons, but I'm using this one that says, yay. So I've gone ahead and ran that through my cuddle bug. And then what I wanted to do was show you how it's going to come out after you run it through the, uh, not the cuddle bug, our big shot, excuse me. And the measurements are right on here. Now the card base is gonna measure six by five and a half. I cut mine just a hair larger, so I would have, you know, made, made sure that it fit perfectly. And then you're gonna run it through and punch it out. And it's that simple. And it's gonna leave score marks here. So you're just going to fold and fold. And you can use your bone folder and fold, okay? So that's our base. How cute is that, you guys? OMG, I am like so excited. I cannot even tell you. Love it. All right, so I've also got some extra pieces of cardstock, and I'm using my punches. This is the two and a two and a half. This is our large circle punch, and I'm going to punch out one big circle from that. I'm also using our beautiful silver sparkle sparkle. And I've been saving this, which is really silly. It's just silly to be such a hoarder over this stuff. But it's so pretty, you hate to use it. But I'm breaking it out. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be gorgeous at Christmas, too. And then I am also going to punch out with my one and three quarter inch punch another circle. And this is pumpkin pie that I'm using. Love it. And then last but not least, I've got a little scrap of white here. And I'm just going to, if I can find it, here it is. I'm using my pumpkin pie ink pad. And I am just going to, I chose the little skeleton face. Because I think he's really cute. And this comes from the new set that I just got called Halloween Hello. And it's this little guy. And he would be really cute too with little googly eyes. Um, so that's another idea. Oh, goodness. I just have so many. It's so fun. Okay. So I am going to then take my one and three eighths punch and just center my little skeleton in the center. I'm using one of, this is an old uh, stamp pad, the classic one. I, uh, the new ones are much nicer. But this one is still working for me and it still has ink, so I'm gonna keep using it. I have no problems. But I'm just using our basic black and I'm just going around the edges just to sort of give it a little bit of dimension. And that's just one of our little finger daubers. So let's go ahead and assemble all of our cuteness. We're going to put the little skeleton face. He's going to go right on here. The little orange piece. 
is going to go on the black piece. No, I'm sorry, the silver piece. Ooh, look at how sparkly. Love it. Oh, my goodness. Oops. That didn't stick on there very well, did it? Hang on. Okay. And now I'm going to stick that whole piece right on there. Like so. Ooh, duper cute. I'm going to apply my adhesive. Darn it all. It's because it's glitter. Okay. Well, this didn't happen on the first go around, but you can always use our multi-purpose glue and that will adhere to the glitter paper. See, now it's fine. All right. Then I cut a piece of our designer series, which is brew paper. This is two and a quarter by five. And I'm going to apply this to the inside. Either side was really cute. I was kind of debating whether to do that side or this side, but this had spiders and I'm a spooky scared of spiders. So I thought, okay, I'll do the spiders. <laughs> All right, then I'm going to take the yay, and who doesn't say yay for candy? Yay! And I just poked out the little pieces with my um, piercing tool. I'm just gonna use our two-way glue pen and just go around this gently. And I'm going to adhere this Oops, come on, to the front of my card. Yay! <laughs> That's so cute. All right, for a finishing touch, how about if we break out some of our basic jewels, and I just love the bling. And I'm going to give my skeleton, because this is a Mary Kay skeleton, so it's got to be blingy. Oh my gosh, I could make it pink! <gasps> That would be so cute. Okay, that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to add one more right down there. And that's it. How simple is that, you guys? And it's so cute. And it's so quick. The work is totally done for you. Totally done for you. I love, love this die. I know I am going to get a ton of use out of this, as I'm sure you will too. So give it a try. I hope you like this card. I just love it. Love it. And it's so sparkly. I love it. The little eyes are sparkling. Sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> so fun. So fun. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. And I certainly will be back with more projects because I am on a roll and having a blast making these cute little projects. So have a great rest of your day.